Welcome to the final session in building a full client-side project with Blazor WebAssembly. Today, I'm going to explain just a very little touches I have done for the application. Then we will go to development and upload uh, the application that we have worked on for more than 30 sessions to make it available online so we can access it from everywhere in the world. Okay. Basically, I have done just very few things. If we go to plans, edit. Here I have added an alert message. So if everything is going wrong with uh, the process of add, edit, or remove, or even check or uncheck an item, we can show this message here. It's exactly like uh, the alert message, the same we have used it multiple places within the application. Uh, we send it a message and a message type, but this time I set the type to fixed because we will only show an error messages. And I have bound this property to item message, which is here items. This field, so when the process failed, I show this message here in edit also and change item with even select item. Also, inside the plans page, I have just set the title of the plan to be a link. So when the user is able to click on this to be redirected to the plan slash delete, that's the idea of the plan. That's it. Now everything's ready. We are ready to move on to deployment and see this application online. The first step I should do is to go to this file. If you remember once I have set the Blazor link on build to walls, we have to remove this one right now before we build. It was, there was an, a little issue while uh, working with maybe uh, with authentication. It's something related to libraries. So right now when you want to deploy, uh, just remove it in this way so we are ready. Basically, to be able to publish a Blazor WebAssembly application, it is the easiest process that you can do in life. Because Blazor WebAssembly can be hosted as any static set of HTML and CSS files. Very, very easy. We have um, a lot of choices that I have said. Um, the one that I will follow today is Azure Storage. So I can put the final files or the result inside static storage account on Microsoft Azure. So basically we can access that application. Another choice is we, I will show you another hosting called SmarterASP.net. I have used it for a long period to host my apps. It is very, very powerful and it gives you two months for free uh, without a credit card required. So you can also host that application on Smarter ASP. So first to get started with Microsoft Azure, if you don't have an account, I highly recommend you to go and create a free account. You can host your application on storage accounts because it costs you somehow nothing because at the, at the end it is a static application, not like hosting an ASP.NET Core or PHP that needs a server. WebAssembly, this is one of the biggest features, it's serverless. No need for a server in the backend to serve your application. So to get started, I'll go to create resource and go to storage, storage account to plop file table and query. Okay, great, this is my subscription. Then I will choose the resource group called it Patch Service, where is it? Yes, this one. Okay, give a, give a name for the account, I'll call it Planner Client. Okay, it's available. The location is Central of US, Performance Standard. Okay, no need to anything else, just click Review and Create. Okay, create. Uh, 
Perfect, now I have to wait just for a little bit till I till the resource being deployed. Okay, great. The resource has been deployed successfully. I can go for it. Great, so this is my Azure storage account. It's ready for planner account or planner client, sorry. Here, if you go on the side menu, settings, static website, click on it and choose enabled. Okay, give index document name, what is the default index file called index.html, then click save. Great, this is my endpoint. I will copy it now. There is another tool we want to use called Azure Storage Explorer. You can find the link in the description box. It allows me to <coughs> navigate the content of my storage accounts on Azure. So I've already installed it on my machine. If I go here, Microsoft Azure Storage Account. Okay. Now this is my storage accounts. I have one called Planner Client, which I have just created. Click on Plop Container, choose Web. Okay, so basically what I have to do is just put the files of the application here and you are ready to go. Now, I will go back to Visual Studio, right click on Planner App.Client, choose Publish. Great, now you have multiple choices to publish your application. The one that I will follow is folder and I will publish it to pen release.net standard 2.1 slash publish. Okay, create profile. Then I will hit publish. Just wait a little bit till your application being ready. Okay, the application has been published successfully. I will go to the publish folder then release .NET standard 2.1 publish okay i have all these folders i'll choose planner app.client this okay this is our application just this set of files i will take them drag to the azure storage account okay waiting for uploading Great. So now I'll try to reach out my endpoint to check the application, go back to planner client. I will copy this and navigate. Okay. As you can see, the application is being installed now on the browser. And here we go. The application has been published successfully and it served as a static website. Now let's try to log in with my account at plannerapp.com slash test.123 login, save. Yeah, here we go. This is the application. Those are my plans. As you can see, I have a lot, a lot of new plan. I don't know what is this new plan. I can add plan. Yeah, everything's ready. Everything's amazing. It was very, very, very simple. If you don't have an Azure account or you don't like to create a new one, basically we're going to see something else called SmarterASP.NET. It's also an amazing SmarterASP.NET. Here we go. This hosting is perfect. It gives you 60 days free trial without credit card. You have just go create your account, activate your email and uh, after you get your account, just go here, upload these files to, <clears throat> to the file system in your account here and just navigate to the URL and that's it. It's very, very, very easy. So thank you very, very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and 
it was useful for you. Don't forget at the end to like, subscribe, share, uh, comment. I don't know everything. Thank you again and see you.